There's no way that that's going to work. All hung up on imaginary problems. You got to focus on what's real, man. So as you can tell, today we're going to try the TikTok hack that is cleaning your headlights with bug repellent. Now, I'm in the girlfriend's car. I'm going to try it on the headlights. I'm not very optimistic, or despite how many videos I've seen of it on, on TikTok, I'm not very optimistic. But I've got to give it a go. I've tried every other headlight refurb sort of hack. You know, I've done the full sand and, and lacquer and that full job on the Civic. I also did, or my dad did, sorry, on the um, EV1 Civic. Um, he did teacup and a buffer, you know, polishing it to a, a, a clear finish. So this, this has got to be the last hack that we can do really on headlights on this channel. We've done the other two things. This is the third and final one as far as I'm aware. Whether or not it works, I just, I just don't believe the TikTok videos. So this is going to be a little bit like a fact or cap you know is, is it going to work or not so uh let's give it a go So I'd normally be recording this outside the car, but as you can see, the headlight is very, very clouded over. It's quite misty. I wouldn't say it's the worst, you know, it's certainly not affecting like the headlight beam pattern, but the problem I have with this is that it isn't any sort of polish or abrasive. In fact, it's meant to go on your skin. So I just can't, for that reason, it should be very, very gentle. Or you'd expect it to be. You wouldn't expect it to be something that you would be, you know, removing a surface layer of a piece of plastic, for example, or cleaning even the, the layer of um, some quite hard and, and firm plastic. Like these things are designed for rocks to considerable size rocks at a high speed to be bouncing off of them and to not damage them. So I just can't see it working. Either way, we're going to give it a go right now. tried it it didn't really work so what you saw on camera and i'll overlay the footage now um, is you saw it become clearer as in the yellowing disappeared but the pitting and the clear coat that started to fail that's over the headlights or the uv protection or whatever it is that protects the, um, the plastic itself from um, going white that material isn't being sort of cleaned or polished or removed so that the, the plastic's exposed. N none of that's happening. What's happening is, is that the yellowing is being sort of removed. I don't know how it does it, but it, it definitely removes the yellow onto the onto the cloth. The cloth stinks now of that bug repellent stuff. But it removes the yellowing from the headlight and it gives it, while it's still wet or while it's still damp and you've not completely wiped it away, it gives it almost a gloss-like finish, like what a lacquer would do if you were to re-clear coat them. So it's not a permanent fix. It's not going to be a, you know, something that's going to keep the headlights clean even for a day, I wouldn't say, if you were driving the car or even if you were to leave the headlights on for a long period of time, it'd bake it off, you know, it'd evaporate, I'd imagine. But what it would do is it would get a car through an MOT and get a car through its test because it would make the headlights appear clear and, and usable again and you know it wouldn't impair the, the beam or at least for a short period of time whilst the uh whilst the coating sort of stays stuck to the lens so that's something it's worth considering anyway so i hope you found this informative it's not a permanent fix but it'll probably get the do the uh, the job done in a pinch so thank you very much for watching catch you in the next one